All right, so today we're gonna to be learning a bit of CSS Grid and you're gonna be building what you see here on the screen, okay? So it's really simple and it's going to be using the Unsplash API just a tiny bit, like literally just this link. So let's go ahead and let's get started and let's learn about Grid, Grid Gaps and Template Columns and Rows and just a general like introduction to CSS Grid so that you can be familiar with it whenever you come across it in the future or when you go full on into it in the future, right? So this is just a really basic introduction that will give you a very good idea of, or a decently good idea of how it works. You're not gonna understand everything at the end of this video, I guarantee that. But it's gonna expose you, which is exactly what you want. So what you wanna do is create a new file in a folder, okay? This is an empty folder, I'm in VS Code, open up uh, Atom, whatever sublime text, whatever text editor you use, and uh, make sure you're in an empty folder and make an index.html file, okay? In here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is say HTML5, let's see, and it generates this for me. Just make sure you get this code uh, in your text editor here on the screen, okay? And this is gonna be pretty simple. We're even gonna put our styles in here, okay? So I'm gonna save that, and then I'm gonna reload my page because I just recorded myself building it out and then realized that my screen wasn't being recorded, so I'm re-recording it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. This is what we got in our index HTML. And to get that running in the browser, all you have to do is basically find it wherever you put that, that folder and uh, double click it and it will open it up in your browser. I'm using, I'm using uh, Safari for this, um, but I'll open up Chrome because I prefer to use, to use uh, Chrome when I'm developing. I just double clicked it and it opened that up. That's bright, it's so bright. All right, so not 100 pixels. What I want to do is open it up here. I'm going to close this. Okay, so I haven't done much yet. This I just opened up the Unsplash deal, source.unsplash.com. Okay, and then I have my index.html. Okay, so this is our code right here. All right, and then it's in a folder called grid index.html. I've opened it up in a browser. I've said that a few times, but I just want to be really clear so you don't get confused. Okay, title. I'm going to call this grid. And then I'm gonna save it, reload the page. You'll see up here, it says grid now, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is in our body, let's create a div and let's call this class is equal to our dash grid. And then I'm going to put an H1 in there and say hello. And then I'm gonna put an H2 in there and say mate. And then I'm gonna save that and reload the page, okay? So this is our code right here, these 13 lines, okay? We've written these four and that's about it. Okay, so it says hello mate. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to give this a grid so that it's not just chilling here, right? If we inspect this and you pull up your deal here, your elements, you'll see that it's just this, right? We want a grid. We want to say hello here and made over here, okay? So we're gonna go up here and we're just gonna create a style tag and do some inline styles here, or kind of inline. Not inline, but not in its own file, okay? We're gonna say dot our grid. And again, I'm not gonna explain how all these things work. I'm just gonna show you the exact code we can get it to work. And then in future videos, I'll explain how it works. Okay, so what we wanna do is we wanna say display is grid. We wanna say grid template. No, first thing, we'll just say this. We'll say height is 400 pixels and then width is 100 view width. Okay, so it's gonna be the size of the, the view, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and see what went on here, okay? We have our grid and it's about 400 pixels high and it's the size, it's the width of the screen, okay? All right, so real quick, let's see this, okay? So our body has a margin, it looks like, and a padding. Don't worry about that. You can take it off if you want, but don't worry about it, okay? So you'll see we have our grid and it kind of just generates this grid for us, right? But let's create our own because we want it to be the other way. So what we need to do is just say grid template columns and give it two columns, okay? Columns are gonna be like one here and one here, right? And if you go to Instagram.com, Instagram.com slash max codes, you'll see that they have a little grid of their own, okay? So it's got one, two, three, this is my profile. I'm saying they as an Instagram, okay? So yeah, it's got a little grid there and uh, that's what's going on, all right? So what we wanna do is go back to our file here or our page here and we want it to be like that. So let's go ahead and let's say template, template columns is 1FR and 1FR. Let's save that and reload it, okay? We now have two columns here, okay? 
And in Instagram, we have like three, right? So let's see what happens when we put three 1FRs, all right? Fractional unit, that's what that is. We all of a sudden get three, okay? Now the reason it does that is because one fractional unit is gonna be one fractional unit of the rest of them, okay? So one plus one plus one is three, so that's one over three. Don't wanna go in too in depth too in depth with that, but that's how that works, right? If we put two, this is gonna be two, that first column is gonna be two over four, and the next one's gonna be one over four, all right? You'll come to make sense of this as you learn grid. Okay, but basically that means our first one's gonna be two FR and the rest are gonna be one FR. Okay, so I don't wanna to go too in depth with that. Let's just say one FR and let's reduce this height to 300 pixels and reload it and we have this, okay? I'm gonna reduce it to 250 pixels actually. All right, excellent. So we got our little grid here. It's kind of looking like Instagram now, but now we need some images. So instead of putting H1s, let's go ahead and put in some image tags and let's just not give them a class name and let's give them a, let's see, let's give them a source of, and then let's just say source.unsplash.com, I believe it is. All right, I'm gonna check this tab and I'm gonna copy this, all right? This is basically just gonna give us a random image. And if you do them all with the same link, you can do like different links, make them all custom and stuff. But if we do uh, uh, the same link, it's just gonna get the same picture, which is no big deal. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that three times and I'm gonna save it, and then I'm gonna reload my page, and you'll see we have three images, but they're kind of big, right? So what we need to do is we need to basically go into our image and say, hey, this has a height of 100% of our grid and a width of 100% of our grid, of, of where it's existing in the in the column, say. Okay, so let's say dot our grid image, height 100% and width 100%. And again, don't worry too much about how this is working. We just wanna get used to the syntax, okay? And then later on, you'll come to realize how it all works in different videos and in other people's content, okay? I just wanna get you exposed to it to give you that value right there. All right, so that's what we've got, right? Now that's great, except for our object fit looks, looks a bit different. It looks like it's kind of stretched. Let's just go in our image and say object fit is cover and let's reload our page and you'll see it looks better now on whatever image you're dealing with, right? It's not all stretched. All right. So what we want to do is we want to give it a gap, okay? So I'm going to show you grid row gap. And let's say grid row gap, no, grid column gap is 10 pixels, okay? That's going to give us a gap of 10 pixels in between all of our columns. Now, if we say row gap, it's not going to work because we don't have any other rows, so you can't see it, all right? So let's call this column gap, and then let's reload it, and let's add one more row. Let's say grid template rows is, and let's say, um, let's say 250 divided by two. So let's say each one of these is 125 pixels and 125 pixels. And this is gonna basically split our grid into two rows, see, see that? And you'll see we still have our column gap, but we don't have a row gap. So let me just show you what a row gap will do. Let's take this, let's copy this, and let's say row gap. Let's save it and reload. You'll see now that we kind of have that gap there. I'm pointing right underneath, right where this image is, right? So right here is where I was pointing. All right, so what we want to do is add in three more. So let's just copy this and paste it. And you can define where they exist on the grid, but this video again is just an introduction. And uh, basically I'm just going to tell you that these will auto lay out to our available slots on the grid, okay? So that's all for this video. Again, just a short introduction. Really, that's the best way to get you exposed to it. And then in other videos and other content people put out there, you'll come to realize SCSS Grid or CSS Grid a lot better, okay? I just wanted to give you a brief introduction and, and uh, get you started there like I do with a lot of concepts. And then others I'm definitely gonna go, gonna go more in depth with, especially iOS development concepts. So go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and let's get this money, all right? I'll see you guys later.